Now, here's what we really want you to understand. When you're in the middle of action, when you're in the middle of conversations, when you're in the middle of events, you're already pretty far down the path. We want you to take away from this gathering, the understanding of finding the path of least resistance at an earlier stage, maybe even before it's in this action, because you see, there's a vibration that is either in alignment with who you really are or isn't. You're in the moment in the thoughts that you are thinking in alignment, in full alignment with who you really are, or to some lesser degree, not in alignment with who you really are. So this vibration that is at the root of everything that you are about and everything that you're living and everything that everybody else is too, and everything that you're feeling this vibration, because the law of attraction is gaining momentum, this vibration, whatever it is that you've got going on is going to evolve. It's going to escalate. It's going to become more. And the first thing that it becomes, that is something that you can recognize. We could call it a manifestation. The first thing that you can recognize is a thought that occurs to you because thoughts are manifestations. You're taking vibration and you are receiving these vibrations at an unconscious level and translating them into something that is meaningful to you. That's how vibrations turn to thoughts and that's how thoughts turn to things. In other words, this is the evolution of all things, all thought. It's what creation is about. And you are the creator who is molding the clay with your focus. Esther and her friend heard a mother the other day trying to get her kids organized to get on the airplane. And she said to them, now we're going to get on hocus pocus focus. <laughs> and Esther thought, oh, I like that. I'm taking that with me. Hocus pocus focus, because it does become magic when you focus, there is a power and a clarity in that. So this vibration, as you're focused upon it more, this vibration is going to become a thought and then a feeling, but thought and feeling comes so seemingly simultaneously that there you are having a thought that you're feeling about and that is momentum and then as you ponder it more it becomes words and then behavior so what happens to so many is that you're trying to sort out your path of least resistance over here once behavior is happening once manifestations are happening and it's harder for you to really take the path of non-resistance or the path of least resistance because there's so much momentum that's already got you all hooked in Do you see what we're getting at someone asked us a question not long ago best question that we were ever asked which allowed us to give the best answer we've ever given the most satisfying answer that we've ever given Abraham how do you get rid of doubt before it starts no, don't. <laughs> annoying we know how do you remove yourself from unpleasant situations before you get into them how do you not end up at a job you don't like before you get there well we know that's all well and good if you just got here and you haven't been doing anything you have no relationships but what do you do if you're already involved in all of these things that you are observing that already have you hooked in to conditions that don't feel good all you got to do is understand the process all you got to do is from wherever you are take the path of least resistance not try to figure out what path somebody else is on and not measure what they're doing to what you're doing that's what these kids were doing in other words neither one of them could feel clearly what they wanted because they were much more interested in what the other one was doing or what the other one was getting or what the other one was living or what the other one had in other words there's this impossible thing that you do when you're trying to figure out what you should do based upon what others are doing and the reason that it doesn't work is because we love you so much it's none of your business what anybody else is doing there's no vibrational connection between what they're doing and what you should do because you have your own guidance system you were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of you is here in this physical body and that non-physical part of you is here with you so when you sift through the details of life and you know what you don't want which helps you to know what you do want you launch a rocket that is a path of no resistance we're not kidding 
when you know what you don't want you launch a rocket of what you do want but you don't know you've done it because it's a vibrational rocket it's early in the process you can't see it yet or hear it smell it or taste it or touch it so most times you don't even recognize that you've launched it but the source energy part of you rode that rocket of no resistance and stands in that vibrational place of whatever it is that you're asking for whether it's an empire whether it's a great idea whether it's a big pile of money whether it's living the life that you want to live a relationship a circumstance an event doesn't matter what it is you're launching those rockets you're building this vibrational reality and it exists and you got to figure out what your path of least resistance is to it and we're here to tell you it's a path that always feels better when you are out in this extension where you haven't been sensitive and you haven't been sensitive and now you're standing in the middle of a conversation and it seems that anything you do doesn't feel good you've waited too long and between a rock and a hard place you say anything I do doesn't feel good and we say well you could have cleaned it up sooner but it doesn't matter that you didn't because you still can clean it up just don't try to do it right now while it feels like you have no options so what we're saying to you is some things that may sound a little contradictory to you they're not you do always have options and you are at various times at varying degrees of being sensitive enough to know what your options are but if we can just get across to you in a way that you can really feel it and want to know it that there always is a better feeling choice every single time and that if you will try a little bit to take that better feeling choice before you know it your life will have smoothed out and you will be very clear about what your path of least resistance is because the path of least resistance is the path that the source within you has highlighted in order to assist you in getting from where you are to everything you want all day every day that guidance is supreme so let's say you went to bed and you sort of <clears throat> fell asleep and in doing so you stop all momentum you do when you sleep all momentum stops so you wake in the morning and right away you have some choices you can jump right into the day into a maybe squabbling household you can jump right in the day into maybe worrisome thoughts that you carried over from yesterday or you can consciously and deliberately take an easier path you might choose to lie there and breathe a little while you might choose to get up and look out into the beautiful day you might choose to look for something to appreciate we just want you to make the correlation between how you feel emotionally and what the path of least resistance is if someone picks a fight with you and you join in with it that might be the path of least resistance because that's just what you always do and you don't have the reserves to do anything else and we're not criticizing you ever about taking the path of least resistance but when you're in the middle of the argument and you acknowledge I don't like this you're launching rockets of desire that you want to get along better not just with this person but with all persons in other words you're launching some rockets and your path just got clearer and tomorrow when you wake up you might have a better chance of going there than down that path and if you care about it in time you'll be at a place where someone will be picking a fight with you and you won't feel any inclination to join in the fight because you'll be standing in a place of such clarity hey this is not my path of least resistance but until you've smoothed it out vibrationally you don't have those options that's why when people write books that tell you how to adjust your behavior you want to kill them <laughs> because you cannot behave other than the momentum of your vibration you see what we're getting at so we want you to move forward in your day and do whatever you feel like doing because after all that's what law of attraction is calling to you in other words 
Esther said to us on many occasions, Abraham, if you guys really wanted to make this fair, you would stop letting law of attraction cooperate with my bad attitude. <laughs> You'd help me change the momentum. You'd put some really pleasant things in front of me so that I could observe that and change the momentum. And we say law of attraction is fair across the board. It's reflecting back to you how you feel. You just have to gradually decide have we convinced you about the path of least resistance? That's the most important thing. Do you accept that you are more than this body and that there's a source energy part of you who is a strong vibrational momentum who is calling you? People talk about this all the time. I want to be on my path right after I knock this guy's teeth out. I want to be on my path right after I condemn the government or I fight with my sister. I want to be on my path, but first I got to take care of all this stuff that isn't the way it should be. And we say, you just got to decide that as early in the day as you can, you can find the vibrational frequency of ease, the vibrational frequency of path of least resistance. And it is our promise to you that before you know it, you will have figured this out. Please understand we are not wanting to guide you toward or away from anything. We are not wanting you to ever feel that we think that you are on the wrong path because you never are. You are always on your path and it is always the right path. The question is how much resistance have you thrown on your trail? So how much are you blocking your view of your true path, your path to joy, your path to clarity, your path to abundance, your path to agility, your path to dexterity, your path to clarity, 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 clarity. Your path to living happily ever after happily ever after regardless of what anyone else is doing you have the ability to stand in the middle of whatever it is and offer a vibrational frequency that gives you clarity about your path you don't have to be bogged down with others you see so you got that didn't you <laughs>